Welcome everyone! In the following video, I'll show you how to use 3D scenes to generate exercises in MosaBook. Exercises you generate from 3D scenes can save you time and let you create various types of exercises. Students will receive lots of useful information with these 3D scenes, and you can easily check what they know when you generate these exercises. Let's get started. I'll open a History and History of Arts book. You can easily navigate through the book using the arrows, or you can type in the page number you need. You can also use the table of contents to find the chapter you need. I'll choose the glory and fall of Athens as the topic for today's lesson. Let's open the 3D scene about the Acropolis. As you know, 3D scenes can be freely rotated, zoomed in, and zoomed out. You can switch between several views in the 3D scene. You can turn labels on and off. You can also read short explanations on the information bars. Different information bars can be found with every view. The time travel feature allows you to take a glance at what the Acropolis looked like in the past and what it looks like today. There's a built-in walk feature in the 3D scene as well. You'll also find built-in quizzes to assign to students. And you can listen to narrated animations. The Acropolises occupied a significant position in the antique Greek city-states. These citadels were constructed in the center of the polis at a location... If you want to access other scenes which are related to a particular topic, click on the chain icon and jump to a similar topic such as the Palace of Knossos right away. Let's take a look at how to generate exercises from interactive 3D scenes. But also its historical significance. Click on this exercise icon to generate exercises. As you can see, you can currently generate five different types of exercises. The types of exercises you can generate from 3D scenes always depend on the information a particular 3D scene contains, whether it has labels, information bars, or a built in quiz. Let's start generating exercises. Choose the Acropolis button to generate a single-choice exercise. All you have to do is click on the green Generate button. The built-in MozaBook test editor immediately comes alive. Here is the first exercise, which is a single-choice exercise. If you want to generate more exercises, put the test editor in a small window in the menu bar at the top and it will be placed on the tray so you can open it from there if you need it again. Let's continue generating exercises, this time a labeling one. You can see that your second exercise is ready. The test editor has added it to your first exercise. A labeling exercise entails dragging the labels to the right places. The number of possible answers depends on the number of labels in the 3D scene. If you need fewer labels, press the Edit button for easy editing. You can delete unnecessary labels, like taking off the Erechtheon and the Brauronion, and then click on the Save button.
Now the exercise is somewhat more manageable. The third type of exercise is a gap filling exercise. That is, you complete the text with the missing words. Click on the gap filling button to open the information bar. Now, choose how many paragraphs you'd like to include in your exercise. As you can see, some of the words are highlighted. When you click on the green Generate button, the exercise is generated automatically. The highlighted words are placed at the bottom of the exercise. Students drag and drop them to the right spots. You can also delete certain words that are not necessary in this type of exercise. Just press the Edit button and delete the unnecessary words. There's another interesting option here. Press the plus button to add a word to the list that doesn't belong in the text, so you can make the student's job a little more challenging. Again, don't forget to save your exercise. The fourth exercise will be a matching exercise. Click on the matching button. As always, Press the green Generate button to have your exercise ready in just a few seconds. Notice that three sentences and five answers are given, so some of the answers are wrong. Press the small window again and go to your last exercise type, the quiz. In this case, you always get five random questions from a database. If you find that a particular quiz question is not right for you, answer it so the next question comes up. If you get a question that suits your needs, click on the green Generate button. Click on it to generate the following exercise. We have five exercises generated from a 3D scene. We've saved a lot of time. It's very important to pin this worksheet into a textbook or exercise book so you can use it later. This time, let's pin it into the book. Click on the Save and Insert icon. You can choose from four types of inserts. Small icon, large icon, image, or interactive layout. We recommend you choose the little icon so your worksheet icon can easily fit in the margin of your book. It may also be important to upload the worksheet to your MozaWeb account if you want to assign it to students as homework later. To do that, either use the hand icon or right-click to select the worksheet and select Upload to MozaWeb from the drop-down menu. A new window opens where you can choose from three options. Saving it privately so that only you can access it or sharing it on the school level or with everyone publicly. Now select the private account option so you'll be able to reach the worksheet from your MozaWeb account at any time in the future. As soon as your exercise has been uploaded, you'll see the message, Extra has been successfully uploaded. You can also press the media icon and select the worksheet menu item to check the upload. Notice that the Acropolis is among your uploaded worksheets. You can then assign it as homework to students. You also need to save the book, so the next time you open it, the worksheet will be embedded in it. To do this, click on File, and then select Save in the bottom left-hand corner. Also, remember to click on the Share button to upload your book to MozaWeb. Then, upload to MozaWeb using your private account so that you can use it on another computer as well. Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozaBook and MozaWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozaweb.com 
and scroll down the page to find the Can We Help You menu item. Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.